I miss about that's the one thing that I miss about um shit explit game casters I can automatically send tweets out and Facebook and I have to do that shit manually so I never fucking do it <sighs> might as well though doing this stuff it's so monotonous and boring oh who the hell is hosting me oh you are <laughs> like damn that was fast <laughs> sorry i don't want to pay attention remember i'm too poor for that Do you want me to link your thingy, even though you're not streaming? No, do you want me to link your channel, even though you were not streaming? What the fuck, Twitch? Twitter? Why are you being so stupid? I think my penis dude has that dance. I just, it looks ridiculous on men. Blah. Hair in my mouth. Blah. All right, now I need to get my life back. Because I'm at half health. Yeah. I have to get my life. That sounds really good. I have to get my life back. <laughs> ah. Hmm. What? Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm just sliding around on the floor. Oh, that's funny. Wait, don't I have a skinny dagger thingy? No, I gave that to you. Okay. But I'm downstairs though. So that's kind of... Try jumping. Okay, I'm jumping. I'm jumping. Can you take a screenshot of that? Probably not. That is... I think it's F12 through Steam. You do not hear Bromapar? What? Spores doesn't hear you. Wow, jumping uses up your stamina. That's some bullshit. How's that bullshit? Because you, did you jump be... around like that and see how long you last. Okay. <laughs> Hello, Orgroth. You know, I was thinking about you today. Really? Okay. <laughs> no, I was, <clears throat> I was thinking actually. I was like, I was thinking of your name. I was like, I bet you Orgrath plays World of Warcraft, and I bet you he's a big ass orc. So I was gonna ask you, do you play WoW? And if so, are you a big ass orc? Because that's how I picture you as.
Mm. There's always a delay with these things. I knew it! You're an orc. That sucks. No, I didn't figure it did. I didn't figure a name came from there, but it just like, I was just thinking like, Orgroth is a really orky name. So. <laughs> so I was hoping I was going to see you here tonight to see, because I, if I did, so like, I was going to ask him. He's got to be an orc. Ooh, there's a bunny. I should shoot it with my bow. Wait, do I have arrows? Can you make me some arrows, Brimmerpar? Okay. Oh, I didn't kill the bunny. Oh, it's dead now. <clears throat> no, I just, I wasn't, um... I was just a wee bit far. Orc DK! Oh, I figured you'd be a DK. Bob stream! I should just rename myself Bob. If I ever get banned from Twitch, I'm going to rename myself Bob. Watch this or we're going to be someone named Bob. Wow, you went right through me. Including your tits, man. <laughs> right through me. I'm not complaining. I have a demon hunter, but I haven't really, I haven't really, I got her to 101, and then I was like, I don't know how to play this class, I suck at this game, and then I kind of just shelved her. Right now I'm playing a mage, and I, I just got my, um, fire mage artifact weapon, and so I'm trying out fire spec, and I'm just like, I just suck at mage. I suck at mage. Okay, so where did you say the arrows were? Archery and healing. What kind of arrows do you have? Oh, you have snake arrows. They look like... You know, the snake arrows look like um, penises, just so you know. Yeah, okay, see, I have a love-hate relationship with with the mage, honestly. I love the fucking class. I think it's super, super fun. And I love playing it by myself. But when I run it in a group, I get super sad and depressed because if I'm with another mage, guaranteed they out-DPS me no matter what. If I'm in a raid, um, I'm usually at the bottom of the mage list. And it just makes me really, really sad. And, like, <clears throat> I love the Frost spec, so I play that solo. I do Arcane in group, and actually, after I respect my Arcane Mage, um, I started doing a lot more flipping DPS. Thank you for the follow, Floor Birds! I do like Warlock, but I have the attention span of a gnat. I have a 97 Goblin Warlock that I should probably bust out and play. I have a level 110 Hunter that I shelved because um, I hated playing her. I think they really screwed up the Hunter class, personally. <clears throat> I was a Marksman Hunter. I couldn't stay on Beast Mastery. I was like, ugh. That is one shit spec. But then again, I probably can't play that properly. Anyway, I took all the snake arrows, by the way. I took them all. I do need to get rid of the putrid meat that's in my... What? How am I encumbered? 
But the snake arrows like put me over the top. Really? I have shit aim, so I'll just put a couple of stacks back. That makes me sad. I need food too. I also need to get rid of a lot of this shit. It's uh in my bag. <laughs> I don't know where to start. Oh, I, I look away from chat for five seconds and everyone starts talking. Spores is full of puns, Sam. I guarantee it. Yes, Spores is the one that said he couldn't hear you. And I guess they can hear you just fine because no one said otherwise. <laughs> Yeah, so I, I, Arcane Mage rotation has not changed in any way, shape, or form. So, I mean, that's still the same. And, um, and I did respect my, my Arcane Mage. And after I respect her, um, I went from like in raids from the bottom 20 to the top five to seven bracket. So, I improved greatly on that, thank God. Otherwise, I was gonna cry. But like, I see fire mages like fucking do way more damage than my arcane mage. So I wanted to see like what the whole hubbub with the fire mage, and really, fire mage like arcane mage is very crit based. So you have to get your shit to proc, or else you do shit for damage. I've noticed. But the only difference between the Fire Mage and the Arcane Mage is Fire Mage, you don't have to worry about mana. So like after you get used to it, it's not so bad. <clears throat> but my, my Fire spec is slightly lower than my Arcane spec only because I need to, put, I need to get the relics for the weapon. So there's that. Okay, I'm going to go dump some stuff in the armory, which I hope you have a lot of chests in here. Dies. Oh, perfect. One label dies. That goes there. Zale's fucking plants. <laughs> oh my god. My fucking plants. <laughs> oh. oh man really because when I when I did frost I was behind anyone who was arcane and fire I kind of find that hard to believe that arcane is is behind fire and frost. I figured frost is was at the bottom. <laughs> you guys are silly. Anyways, Zill's fucking plants. All right, ill gotten gains. Oh, there's the, I knew I stuck that staff somewhere. Well, I know, I know you put it in there, but I knew it was somewhere. Mm. 
Well, we killed the, the snake in acid, you know? So... I'm gonna put the seeds in with the plants. Yeah. No, I know, us desert dwellers. Armor sets, dies. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Do, do, do. I just, I need to figure out where I can dump these bones and stone at. As much as I love heavy armor, I think I'm gonna have to go back to medium. No, because of the encumbrance, it's fucking ridiculous. Well, I do have a lot of points in encumbrance, that's what kills me. I'm like, I'm like halfway to the second tier of encumbrance. <laughs> makes me sad sad so yeah oh wells I'll deal I will deal <clears throat> mm hmm my goodness I gotta catch up my girl has a butt like Fran Really? I never really noticed. Hmm. It's good to know. As a Final Fantasy character, she's the, uh, Vera. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> we killed the snake, Horgrass. It took us a while, but we killed it. <laughs> you guys are silly. Yeah, well, that's, that's his job. His job is to dance in the corner, because he's a dancer. So, he's a performer. That's what he do. He dance. Oh, I could just stand next to the naked guy and get some free health. Derp. I do agree with you on that. Org with the pit of yog, but I don't think we have a pit of yog, do we? Yeah, I don't think anyone took Yogg as their god. I should have. I think I, I think I took Krom. Oh yeah, I know. I but I do know that if you don't start off with Krom, you can't pick him up later, which is stupid. I <laughs> think <came> more rotation. <laughs> Yeah, I was a real high on chat. I'm sorry, guys. I do have a level 100 and... Out. Let me see. I do have a warrior, though. Fury warrior. I just don't remember if she's 100 or 101. Let me look her up real quick. Repars like eventually we will start playing. Yeah, I was gonna ask us the game plan. Um, she's level one hundred, 
So right now I have a level 101 Demon Hunter, um, a 101 Priest that I haven't touched because I don't want to heal people. Mm. <laughs> Pretty much. Um, a level 97 Warlock. So those are my highest characters. Um, I have a 110 Hunter and a 110 Mage. Yeah, so that's that's my high characters right now. I haven't decided um, which character I want to take to level 110 next. <clears throat> yeah, I I would like to try. Well, can. Well, we can go during the day and climb up there and then camp out till nighttime, right? So then we better hurry. All right, well, I took all the uh, pots out of the um, thingy. That way we can split those. <clears throat> that the... Yeah, I, I just grabbed the staff. Um, what armor should I go with? No, I thought the captain stuff was heavy. Oh, no, 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 you're right. No, that is medium. Oh, but the fur stuff is going to be too hot though, huh? Let's see. And the the set tight stuff, that's not really armor, armor. Yeah. Okay. I'll just stick with what I have then. Sorry guys, I'm really lacking on the on the chat tonight. You guys are funny. You can't stop staring at his package? Why do you keep staring at the poor man's package? Is it because it's tiny? Or is it because of the jiggles? Yeah, I mean, he's got a pretty nice package going. Yeah. Freaking laptop is like being so dumb. Thank you for the follow, Commander Root. Woo! No, my climbing gear stays on me. So, yay. Oh, dude, you know I am Horde. Horde all the way. There is no alliance scum in my family. I kicked them all out. Show buffs. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Guilty. All right, let's head out. Yeah, for the horde all the way every step in fact my my main characters are all blood elves except for my goblin shaman and my goblin warlock and i'm trying to unlock nightborn because then i'll have a bunch of nightborn running around go me yeah i hate nightfall in this game Oh darn, 
give yourself admin access and accidentally beef up our stats and whoops, accidentally turn it into permanent nighttime. I know. <laughs> I'm just giving you shit. <sighs> uh-huh yeah i've done that that's how that's how uh my donger how that's how mr donger got his mcmansion but now i severely regret his mcmansion it's too big for the one dude yeah but i don't i don't want to deal with that Remember the last time I tried to do that and what and all the hilarity that ensued out of that? It was bad. Yeah. Why is you this guy dancing in your house? Jesus, guys. Yeah, the little donger physics in this game is pretty great. You should take them swimming with the dongers. Yeah, I was, I was like thinking like I was gonna half lazily get my rep up with with the high mountain tribe because I'd really like a cow like well their cow druid thingy because that would be fun. I think they look good. And I haven't played Mr. Donger in a while. He probably feels lonely. I got an arrow in my arm. He exploded. Slivers of the unfulfilled. That sounds filling. thought about making the human druid but that's alliance and yeah but I do like the artwork for the human druids oh I didn't even see that there wow I totally lagged right there okay I've been eating a bunch of fish why am I still starving what the hell Ugh, you fucker, you stopped my bandaging effect. No, I'm almost full health. Really? Because when I logged in, it was showing me at half health. But I also figured that was because before we logged out the last time, we killed ourselves, so... There's that. I'm kind of sad that Nightborn Elves can't be DKs because I was like, ooh, I wonder if I can really DK Nightborn. That'd be so cool. Not. I'm like, son of a bitch. Anyone could be, anyone should be able to be a warrior and a DK. End of story. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I don't have them on me. <laughs> I know I I know you dropped a bag and I did take the bag, but it was full of seeds. So I put the seeds in with the plants. Yeah. It was full of seeds. Weird. No, they were seeds. They were a bag full of seeds. <laughs> I thought it was weird you were giving me seeds. I was like, why is he giving me seeds? But I'm not, I wasn't going to question it. <clears throat> he 
gave you his seed? Sun can't hear you either. I can't hear him at all. No one can hear you. Oh my goodness, why didn't you guys say that? Look it now. Yeah, he's been asking for half an hour. I can't hear. <laughs> well, yeah, Explorers, you no, I saw your original thing, and then I was like, and then he asked if anyone could hear him, and then I said, and then I asked this about anyone hearing him, and no one said, no, we can't hear him. We can't hear him, by the way. Okay, hold on. Let me, let me, let me see about turning him up on my end real quick. Uh, on Dick Sword. And see if that helps. I can hear you perfectly, yes. It's like you're right next to me. Okay, guys, let me know if you can hear him now or not. Is he talking? Yeah. It's very low. <clears throat> no, he hasn't. He doesn't. Has if you turn down the radio really quiet. John doesn't really talk unless spoken to. And you can always hear him clearly because he's right behind me. Maybe it's your end. Can you, you might want to turn yourself up on Discord. Because I've had that problem sometimes. Weird. You guys have broken ears. That's all I gotta say. Can you hear him now? Bueller? Nope. Which, which nope part? <laughs> I'm not a mind reader. I don't hear him at all. Let me Hmm. I'm using Slobs or Streamlabs OBS, and I've never had an issue with Streamlabs and Discord not working together. Though. So. Yeah, I was gonna say, well, shit. <laughs> so just like talking, this probably sounds like I'm having a crazy conversation by myself. I have the crazy camera lady! I only hear one voice in my head. That's the voice of Burma Parr. I don't know. Let me double check my... I mean, I wouldn't know what I'd be looking for. Oh, wait. Hold on. No, no. I don't think it's you. Okay. They should hear you now. Testing, testing, one, two, three, testing. Testing, testing, That's one, great. two, three, two, yep. one. Testing. Spores, okay. Spores had it. Spores was right. My desktop audio was not turned on. Because every now and then, for some ah. reason, it automatically turns it off. It puts it to default, which turns it off. Thank you, Windows 10. Yeah, all right. <laughs> It's a feature. Uh, it's a feature. It's a safety feature of that. Uh, yay, and they're, and they're not deaf. Woo! Yeah, <laughs> see? It's not, the voices aren't all in my head, guys. Isn't that awesome? There's actually someone there. Holy shit. Oh, my God. It's so true. Okay. Yay. Now, now we can rejoice. And the peasants can, rejoice. And we can party. I did too listen to you. I said yes, Boris was right. It, my desktop audio was turned off. Probably, Orgroth, the voices in your head are probably as real as the voices in my head. <laughs> it's a fact of life. The voices in my head like me best. So. <laughs> well, I no, I saw that you said you originally couldn't hear him, but I didn't see a second I still can't hear him thing. 
and no one else said anything, so I just assumed everyone could hear him. But then again, I got behind on chat, so I probably missed it. Well, no, you distinctively asked at least twice. I heard that. I, I remember hearing that. <laughs> so, sorry, guys. Yeah, Can't I thought... Can't for that one. Like, I thought I asked if anyone could else hear him. So. Oh, well, it's fixed now. It's all that matters. Oh! Dance emotes. I learned war dance. Which kind of looks like the war dance of Final Fantasy XIV, almost. <clears throat> we need to find a water source. Oh, uh, but you don't have any water? Well, for some reason, I'm like getting thirsty and hungry like super fucking fast. Which is weird. What, what's your temperature at? Mm -hmm. Character's temperature. I'm normal. It's like in the middle. I'm not too hot, nor nor am I too cold. What the flying fuck is going on with your character? I have no idea. Let's continue on our journey before it gets too dark. All right. Well, actually, you no. Know, we we have to be here when it gets too dark. Actually. I know, but I like to get there before it gets too dark, and we can't see. That is a good point. I'm pretty sure I... I do. I have the staff. Which I should have given to you, to be honest. Okay, well, it's not like you needed my help anyway. Mr. Level 20,000. I'm not level 20,000. Okay, 2,000. Alright, put your climbing gear on and quit bitching. Okie dokie. If you if you if you just play the game more often, you'd be as high level as I am. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Where are we climbing? Oh, okay. Straight up. I see your naked butt. I see my naked butt too. Well, I'm just putting on uh was it gloves and boots to climb. Yep. Take everything else off. You should kick him off the mountain. <laughs> Shit! Uh, hey, don't go that way. Don't go what way? Am I Fine. gonna make it? Am I gonna make Get it? Get up there. Yes. There we go, finally. I made it. All right. Straight up again. Oh, now I can see your butt. It almost looks I like... I can see both our butts. It almost looked like I had my head up your ass for a second there. <laughs> well, maybe not yeah. up your ass per se, but pretty damn close. You you were getting to know me quite well. Yeah, the most intimates of. Uh, the places. holiest of holies. <laughs> pretty much. All right, so the, the lore item here is going to explain what I, what I was talking about. I'm gonna give you the uh, the staff. Okay. All right. So I dropped it. Hopefully, you can pick it up. I have it. This room is so dirty. <laughs> yes, aren't the camera angles fucking fantastic? Seriously. Oh yeah. I mean. <laughs> Oh, I see some climbing back with the naked dancing guy. I think Sam has a crush on the naked dancing guy. Nothing wrong with that. No, didn't say there was. So I don't know if you heard that, but at midnight there's supposed to be a demon messenger that comes down. Um, a demon messenger? A moonbeam messenger. Oh, moonbeam, okay. I have no idea what that is. But I do know there's a giant fucking bat monster up. So do we kill Mr. Batty first? I'm pretty sure we have to kill him first. Oh, yep. You see him? <clears throat> yep. Alright, so just like before, I'm going to take this monster out. Uh, Alright, I'm going to... Smother him with arrows. Yes, because I'm going to try with the arrows. Whoa, shit!
Damn, this guy gets pretty fucking close. Actually, if you can turn him around and I can poke his butt. Just try climbing behind him. Yeah, that's what I was gonna do. Alrighty. I gotta take a, I gotta take a health potion. He's bleeding like crazy. Alright, he's yours. I gotta get up. Just keep hitting him with arrows. He's almost done. Got it. Alright, you're gonna have to um skin him. Harvest? Yeah. Oh shit, I didn't bring anything to skin him. Oh, uh, I have a hatchet. Will that work? Yeah, that'll work. Cause I gave you my skinny knife. I never got it. I dropped it. Remember? Where? No. Well the last time we played Dork, I gave it to you. Oh, that's in the toolbox back at home. Oh. <laughs> Alright, well, we got the bat demon head, uh, 17 bat skins, albino okay. bat demon blood, and demon blood, and feral flesh. Rock on, okay. Oh, there's a there's just journal right here. You can learn some new recipes. Learn a new recipe. I don't, I don't know what they are. And mm -hmm. now we wait till midnight. That oh, bat's to... gonna respawn, you know. Oh, here they go. Alter the bat. Oh. Oh wow. That's where that goes. Holy shit. So we just wait. Yeah, you go ahead and poke that. I'll be out here where it's safe. I'm gonna call Kielbasa. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> uh, yeah, we just wait. And if the bat responds, well... Well, we know we can handle it. You guys are funny with your poor little theories. They're saying that the, that the poor <laughs> bat was just a, uh, was just a mad scientist gone wrong. Scientist or Scientologist. <laughs> you guys are so Scientologist, yeah, that, mm -hmm. I agree with that. Mm -hmm. All right, let's uh, let's try this. It's so weird. That's a square. Did they forget to fix it? Because it looks like it should be perfectly fit in with the circle, but they just forgot to, like, crop it properly or something. So they're just like, yeah, what the fuck ever, we'll just leave it. I, it's probably a known issue. <laughs> like a fail Stargate. <laughs> yeah, someone forgot to crop and fade it out. Yep. Exactly. What the hell just happened? I got dark all of a sudden. Yeah. Oh. Okay, well, I'm gonna stand next to you because now I'm scared. I'm scared, guys! I don't know what's gonna happen to me. Pretty soon, we will find out what's going to happen to us, if anything. Perhaps nothing. <laughs> Perhaps everything. Perhaps we will be granted the infinite knowledge of the land of the exiles. Son, don't go down on Sam. No bueno, son.
I have found a portal before that you jump in. It takes you somewhere else, obviously, with the being a portal. It's pretty cool. It's in the volcano. Yeah. That's the uh, it's volcano dungeon. Yeah. <laughs> Guys are silly. All right, midnight has come and gone. Fuck over. Has it really? Because it doesn't look like it's that dark out. Yeah, no, it, the, the moon's already setting. The sun's coming. Go. Then what the hell? Let's, let's try this again. Uh, it's a time of day. Here. Maybe you should put your climbing gear on while we wait. Go through the portal? You mean the portal that's not even correctly a portal? Yeah, I tried that. I'm just standing outside. And then we walk off to her death. Pretty much. Yeah, see guys? It's nothing. Yeah, nothing's happening. The person who uh, forgot to fix the portal broke it. Actually, I think those those starlight things are supposed to go from the other platform. Yeah, the moon's starting to set again. Maybe you gotta take it off and put it on at midnight? Uh, no. I've never done this before. Me neither, so I don't know. There aren't any more pieces to this? Hmm. Actually, there's what looks like a switch or something over here, but you can't interact with it. <clears throat> yeah, the moon's already setting again. Is there another place? Yeah, over here. Yeah, I bet you that the whole thing is misaligned. That should be hitting Yeah, that. it is. That should be hitting this. I think you're right. I think this whole thing is just bugged. Which is a bit of a bummer. No kidding. Well, I guess I'll be heading to the Funcom forums tomorrow. Let's uh, <clears throat> let's try taking it, taking it out and putting it back in again. At the designated midnight time. Alright, let me... uh. You know, like turn on and off again. It's a classic right. IT I gotcha. trick. Okay. Uh, yeah, because like the whole thing is completely misaligned. No owner. Yeah, the flames are still there. Mark off another thing Portal Guy forgot to do. And no. they're they're way off. They're way off center. They're not even close to the things. Yeah. I see the flame on one side, but I don't see it on the other side. Oh there. I see it, it on is. both sides. Yeah, yeah, I see it on both sides. I just wasn't. It's, it's all kinds of fucked up. Yeah, it could be bugged. <laughs> really wants us to go climbing. He's like super obsessed with us going climbing. <laughs> go climbing. Okay. And... Uh... I don't know what you're talking about, Sam. I mean, I... I don't know this climbing busy business you, you speak of.
<laughs> yeah, I think it's broken. It's definitely broken. Yeah, I think you're right. I think we're supposed to walk through this portal and end up somewhere. But because really it's, it's because it's so off center. Off, yeah, it's not registering. Yep. <clears throat> And it's too bad you can't fix it through admin access either. No, you can't. All right, well, I'm just going to go ahead and make it. Uh, Should we leave it here? Morning again? Negative. Let's take this. Okay. It's broken, oh, guys. Just... Sorry, folks. I got everybody all psyched up for nothing. But hey, at least we know we can take down Bat Boy. Actually, Bat Boy went, went down about as easy as uh, Sewer Sewer. Did, so yeah poor man bad well you know it, it happens okay here comes your favorite part Zilf. oh god this is where i fall to my death again just uh just call it what you always tell me. It's a suicide telly. Oh, are we going to suicide telly back to the house? <laughs> because that would... No. Damn it! Thank you for the follow, quad! Alright, so just follow me, just like you did uh, when we went through the swamp. Uh... Oops. And it's the space bar, right? Yes. Oh, Ouch. Fuck. I hit the space that, bar. That it, sounded painful. It did nothing. It did nothing. I think you lie. I'm not. No, <laughs> I was not trying to get you killed. Whoops. What do you think you do? Oh, shit. Okay. Let's see. Where to next? I fell. <laughs> Sorry. Did you die? No, I caught the uh, the edge, but I'm like right next to the bottom. I was really like, fuck it, you're dead. I'm just gonna suicide myself. Nope, I'm still alive. Oh my god. I'm never gonna... Um... Okay, I'll, I, just, I... I'll just go down here. This looks like a safe spot. Safe space! Safe space! <laughs> Find your happy place, Zill. <laughs> Fun fact, I'm afraid of game heights so <laughs> much. Especially in Conan Exiles. <laughs> oh. Oh shit. I am now being attacked by two very pissed off rock noses. Can you do your climbing during the day, please? <laughs> Uh-oh. Fuck, fuck, fuck. I'm naked and I'm trying to kill something. This is not going to bode well. What? I hear you. It's dead. Woohoo. Okay. You made it safe and sound. Yay! <laughs> Hooray! I can put my clothes back on. Much to the disappointment of poor Sam. <laughs> Sam is like, this is not what I signed up for. Put your climbing gear back on. Well, tough rock, Sam. Where did you go? Oh. What? You, like, why disappeared you, behind a why rock. Why did you never follow me? No, you literally fucking disappeared off my screen. You were there, and then you disappeared behind a rock, and then you were nowhere. I love lag. You abandoned me. I did not. I came back for you. No, I'm not Spider-Man floor. Oh, hey, look. More climbing. Actually, no, you could fall from this distance. How about let's not fall and kill ourselves? <clears throat> Whee! Finally, I did it right. <laughs> you did better at that. That was just luck. Sometimes I have it, sometimes I don't. Okay, there is actually another... <laughs> creature over here we have to kill. Okay, never mind. Um, there is actually another building over here 
that supposedly if you can climb up it, there's there's something really cool there. Um, I've never done that. Well, <clears throat> before we do anything, I need water. Hi. Well, funny uh, you should mention that. We're going towards the river. Cool. <clears throat> I'm so thirsty, and my body temp is pretty normal. I don't understand. Did you not bring a water skin? It was full. But you drank it all already. Yeah, I have like one more. Like, I'm getting thirsty like super fucking fast. I'm getting hungry super fucking fast. I can't even keep up with my diet. Like, what the hell? That that does not sound right at all. No, it doesn't. <clears throat> Because for me, hunger and thirst is going normal. Right, but not not for me though. Um, right, well, here's here's the uh, crocodiles. Where is it? Oh, there's two of them. Shit. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Oh, the third one has joined the party. I'm out of stamina. The third one is not dead. Already? Oh yeah, you're like level yeah. 69 or something. I wish I was level 69. <clears throat> that would be awesome. I'm gonna the eat hell? in the river. Where did you go? There you go. Right where you left me. <laughs> where did you I go? disappear all the time. I wasn't even moving that time. You have friends that play this game. I told you about the nudity, but you're like, no, nah, I can't believe all that nudity until you see it here. <laughs> now, I, friends who play this game, I'm not going to believe you that there is nudity. Oh my god, there really is nudity. <laughs> Come <laughs> on, Sam. What, did you think we were lying? <laughs> well, he probably thought his friends were lying. Yes, there's even floppy donger physics. And like, wait, hold on, hold on. Look, and boob jiggles. Jiggly boobs! Jiggly boobs! So, I mean... Fuck. Oh. I had to show him jiggly boobs. And yeah. the best part, Sam, is if you make a Mr. Donger like I did, and you give him the biggest, biggest dongers, you have to take him swimming because magical things happen when you take a big Mr. Donger swimming. Yes, they're exactly like jiggly puffs. In fact, I sing it all the time. Jiggly boobs, jiggly boobs. See, just like Jigglypuff. Yeah, this game has very amazing. Should we get our climbing gear on for this? Nah, it's short enough. I think we can. Uh, it's not gonna be for me. Okay, well then get your climbing gear. Oh darn, I have to put on my climbing gear or else I won't be able to climb this. There's my climbing gear. Now I have to climb. Oh darn. I'm sensing sarcasm. <laughs> I think Sam is going to have a good night tonight. It's, it's quite unusual for me not to be the only... Not to be the naked one. Wait. Yeah, usually he's the naked one. <clears throat> okay. This is what I was talking about. It's in the Tower of the Bats. <laughs> but. Well, no, there's supposed to be another spot where you can get into that's supposed to have something. And it's this, this part here. Okay, you gotta wait for me because I had to put on my climbing gear again. Yeah, I don't think I put um, into grit, so that's probably why. You might want to check your uh, your your attribute points. They may have got they may have gotten blanked. No, I uh, I was just in my attribute points, and they're all good. They're all kosher. How many points did you put into survival? Uh, just the top tier, or to the first one. Okay, that's not it. I think it's um Yeah, the it's game grit. is just, it's grit. It's just I don't have any points into grit. That's what it is. Yeah, you need to do that because that's your stamina. 
That's yeah. what controls your stamina. Stamina, shmamina. <clears throat> need stamina. Looks right over here. This is supposed to be where you should be able to get in. But again, the internet might have lied. The internet is full of lies. Of course it is. Because I don't see a way to get into the Or necessarily anything interesting that's happening. Maybe you have to climb to the top. Well, that's possible. Well, you know me, an excuse to get naked. <laughs> More nakedness. I'm going to get banned before the night's over. I just know you it. You are not. I do this all the time. <laughs> yeah, but you're a guy. So you can get away with it. Chick does it. All hell breaks loose. Everyone's like, why are you naked, girl? You're just naked for attention. Booby streamer! Exactly. Booby streamer. Tiss, tiss. Oh, shit. Fell again. I'm almost there. Yeah, shit. I'm almost there. I'm not. I'm... Yes! No! Yeah, I same almost... thing happened to me. I almost made it. I'm trying to find some spot where I can... Well, okay, finally. Wow. <laughs> the one of them? Oh my god, the way I'm hanging off this ledge. If you want to... 2K18. Sam thinks I should hey. spend all of my attributes on climbing. Well, there's no climbing stat. So. Well, it's a grit stat. Well, yeah, you definitely need to spend a lot of points on. Well, I Does wanted I wanted to be like super beefy, not a weak. <laughs> okay, so where did you go? Because I'm. I am all the way up at the top of, the, of this doorway. Thing. Can there's you nothing. like uh, poke your head out so I can see where you are? I'll do better than that. I poke my tits out. Oh, you're. Oh, you can weird. see those a lot easier. There's nothing up there. Well, the internet the, lied to me. What about the top top, though? That's the Tower of the Bats. That's where we just were. Oh. Never mind. So I climbed all this way for nothing? I'm sorry. <sighs> One of these days I'll get it right. I'll get us on an adventure that isn't bugged out. The Let's internet is full of lies, where... and Funcom is full of bugs. Yeah. How did I survive that? There's nothing over here? Oh, I'm on the ground again. Oh my god. Now I gotta figure out how to get down there. Well, if you actually follow me once in a while. Why would I do that? I'm a strong, independent woman. Who doesn't know where she's going. <laughs> well, that's Okay, <laughs> that's like 99% of the time. No, no, no! Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I actually fell right next to you. I don't know if you saw that. Yeah, I saw you slid down. It's like, Synchronized oh. falling. Oh, okay, is it safe to put clothes on now? It is safe to put clothes on. Yeah, I can put my clothes back on. Oh, shit. No, don't. My armor, don't say my that. armor vanished. Your armor vanished? My armor vanished. This is all the armor I have now. Everything else is gone. Oh my. It just disappeared. You have no armor. I have no armor. Did you put it in your badge of holding? Uh, yeah. <laughs> and my, my badge of holding stopped holding. <laughs> it was like, this is not a badge where I can deal. Get this out of here. Please do a lot of hugging emotes in your climbing gear to celebrate a successful <laughs> climb. Uh, how do you do the hug? Oh, you have to earn the emote. It's at Sipamaru. All right, let's see. Shake fist. I don't think I have hug. It would be under conversation if you had it. Yeah, I don't even have that. I have greet, yeah. salute, bow, and wave. I'll just wave. What a weak wave. What's next? 
That's a really good question. I have, where's my fucking armor? Yes, I did say badge of holding. It's a it's a joke. Uh, oh, it's it's a very long standing joke. It, it comes from. Uh, I'm pretty sure I have a clip somewhere. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Hold on, hold on a second, Sam. Let me see if I can find it. I'm very uh, sure I have a clip. I'll wait. I'll wait to see if uh, Zelda has it. This game is just going all kinds of wrong. Your your thun your hunger and thirst is all is busted all yep, the fuck. I have a clip. My armor just vanished. That a trace. There it is for you, Sam. That's where the inside joke comes from. Ah, fuck. All right. <clears throat> We should oh. get back to our base so I can get more food. And yeah, let's uh, let's do a suicide tunnel from here. I want, to I want to test something out. All right, we're gonna kill ourselves. Wow! <coughs> oh, synchronized <coughs> death! Yay! <laughs> and in the same position too. <laughs> Love it. Remember last time we exploded together? That was. It. I remember that. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, my armor did not come back. That sucks. Let's see if it is in my. Yeah, it's 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 gone for good. Lost Mr. forever. Floppy. That sucks. Now I have half health, so I'm gonna go stand next to Mr. Floppy and hopefully he can rejuvenate me. There he is. Back to Mr. Floppy. Oops. I'm entertained. But he's not rejuvenating my health, though. Oh, there it goes. Now it's doing it. It takes a little while. Yeah, it's very slow. It isn't, it isn't until you get entertained, I think, level 10, that you start to... Oh, I meant entertained. Eight? Okay, that makes sense. Okay, well, I'm actually going to watch the, uh, the young lady upstairs. Um, and I need to take the, uh, a real quick back, so I'll be right back. Okay. <laughs> well, that's why he's so muscular, though, because he gets that great cardio workout. Yeah, exactly. He's he's super he's super cut. Super cut. Let's see if the ladies upstairs will cuz Mr. Floppy is just not doing it for me. Let's see. We have this lady over here. <laughs> so we have her we, and we also we have more dancers upstairs so I'll show you them too as soon as I find the upstairs here it is we have more dancers upstairs we have these lovely ladies over here Hello. Hello. I'm showing I'm showing Sam all the dancers we have in the house. Oh, okay. Um, I'm really sorry. I really hate to do this to you, but I actually need to log out. I gotta help. Uh, I gotta help my wife out. With oh, not a problem. Tell her I said so, hi. I will. Um, thanks for playing. I'm sorry it went uh, so poorly. Oh no no no! It was fine. Oh, do you see that Mr. Donger guy? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, you you have fun, and then uh, I'll try and catch the stream tomorrow night. Okay. Night. Good morning, chat. Good night. Thank you for watching. Appreciate you. And, um, yeah, all the good stuff. 
So this guy has like the biggest donger. Like he's literally the biggest donger guy. And then watch his little backflip. You can see his balls and everything. So look at that. <laughs> I'm totally gonna get banned for this. I just know it. So yeah. There you go. Yeah, see, my Mr. Donger is about as big as that. <clears throat> That's how big I made my Mr. Donger. The longest. So when you take him swimming, it gets like really stretched out. <laughs> and then here's the other dancer. Doing the river dance. I'm gonna go get some food. So yeah, so those are all the dancers we have in the house. I think it's pretty equal split between between them all, so they're pretty fun. Go get an enlargement potion. I don't think I don't think he needs an enlargement potion, son. I, I think he's uh enlarged enough as it is as he is. Alright, where is I going to get food at the crafting room? Where did that come from? Has that always been there? I don't remember. Do, 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 do. Oh yeah, I should probably get rid of the bat demon head. So I'll put a lot of weight off. Where the fuck is the ground here? See, I built this house and I still get lost. I get super lost. Okay guys, so you have a choice of me continuing to play Conan Exiles and dicking around, no pun intended, or I can go play WoW. I never shut the doors. Have you ever seen me? <laughs> Conan. Alright, let's see what kind of trouble we can get into. Uh, let's see, did I die over here? Yeah. Oh yeah, that's that must have been where we killed ourselves. Let's see where to go. Hmm. Guess we could go north ish. Alright, let's go this way. You can see how much of a scrub player I am. Oh wait, do I have... Yep, okay. Um, and, and this, no, I haven't. Um, he is all the way somewhere over here. Like, I could try to, to uh, get there, but it's a bit of a, it's a bit of a ways to go.
and hopefully I will survive. I squeaked! Alright. Because what I usually do is I just take I take the coast up to, like you guys can see, I take the coast path usually to right around here, then I hop up through here and go through up that way. Surprisingly small. Um, Brahmapar told me that there there was a, uh, a glitch. Um, in the game at one point that when you went to go see Conan in the Lost City, um, he his clothes would glitch in and out so you could see his dong and it was it was small. Sad face. They did not bless Conan with an appendage. Apparently. So that kind of made me a little sad. Yes, Crom, Crom really did. <laughs> yes, my homeland. I I get lost in that stupid ass city. But yeah, he's a uh, he's got a tiny package, according to Burbapar. I'm sure you could probably um, Google pictures of one that. You know, I'm sure there are screenshots of it or video even, but I'm pretty sure it happened while the game was still in early access. It was really cold outside. He was in a building surrounded by dancers. And that heats things up how? Well, I'm just saying. He wasn't outside, he was inside. Castles are very drafty. Castles are very drafty. <laughs> ah. Okay. I suppose. Why? I can't dodge, I have heavy armor on. They want to see Conan Brimapar, so that's where we're going. Well, I mean, come on, who, who doesn't like, it's because he's no longer here. He's not in Discord. He had to go. <laughs> of course you can't hear him. He's not so in I here. you're still talking like, I thought they're still. No, he's in chat, like in the, in the typey chat. What? He said he was going to pop in and out. <clears throat> It's someone's endo. What's this? All oh, right, the big croc boss. We're gonna back up in the water. Go swimming, avoid some hyenas. Yeah, I can't, I can't take him by myself. If Burma Par was here, I'd be like, yeah, let's go murder that fucker. But, um, but it actually, it's a really huge boss, pretty close to a raid boss. And I have to be higher level to even be worth the help. Cause he has a, a loot box. Oh my God, a fucking hyena. And, um, you have to be max level to even be able to open it. So there is that.
But the big croc boss is also surrounded by two or three smaller crocodiles. By Ina, by Ida. Yeah, that didn't take long to whack him, did it? And now my food and thirst is just fine. That is so weird. <laughs> Don't worry, I will be climbing on higher ground later. I actually hate climbing. Did you know that I am afraid of in-game heights? Oh, that's um a big red shellback turtle. That's a male. They're very aggressive. Super aggressive. So, Sam, you have friends that play this game and you didn't believe them about the nudity. Are you going to play this game now? You're going to, like, say, hey, friends, I saw someone stream this, and now I'm super interested in playing with all the boobies and dongers and stuff. Oh, my. Ah, oh, fucking crocodile. I've slaughtered your entire family. Leave me alone. What is this? Is that a grub? That looks like someone's dilapidated penis. Babe, look at this. That looks like something you'd find from Bad Dragon. Can I take it? I got a fat grub. Bad dragon count one. Oh, there should be a bad dragon count. I should get that set up. Dude, whenever I look over the edge of shit like that, like, oh my god. I cry on the inside. I hate in-game heights as much as I hate IRL heights. And I'm so, it's so weird. Do you miss the stream where we jumped off, like, we, we were in the... Swamplands over here, there's like a pirate place, and um, you can't really see it, but it's elevated, so it starts off inland here, and then the further you go, the higher it is, and then you get to the captain's quarters, and you're at the very, very top. So we jumped down into the water. That was just earlier this week. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I can make a bad dragon count. That seems like a very good idea. Get me, bro. Come on. All right, so that's one, two, three, four, five crocodiles slain. Yeah. They thought they were going to eat me. Ooh, candle. They were wrong. Maybe baby croc? Can I take it home with me? That is so adorable! 
I can have it like laying on my bed waiting for me when I come home. It's so cute. I totally forgot about the activity book. I should totally get that. I can't pet it. Yeah, it's a, just a baby salamander croc thing. Oh, you should see the dead kitties. Those would be really cool to have as pets. Yeah. <laughs> so Christmas exchange. Yeah, and we both gift each other the bag the bag dragon activity book. <laughs> Cause that would happen. And see, and these are the female shellbacks. They're completely passive. And then they're, these are the babies. Oh, well, they're passive unless you get next to their babies. Like, I'm gonna eat your babies. You had to attack me, now you die. Oh, yeah. You know, little Dedo. Now your kids are orphans. Good job. So we could just yoink, take that one, take it home. Oh, you know, I had that problem too. Too many games, so little hard drive space. And then, uh, babe, how big are my hard drives for my games? Um, four terabytes, I think. So yeah. Four terabytes. Almost there. <laughs> yeah, I mean, but our PCs are built strictly for gaming. Um, that's all we do. And we had to adjust. My, my PC was built strictly for gaming. Um, wasn't built for gaming and streaming. So I had to uh, swap hard drives with the husband because, or not hard drives, processors, because he had the better CPU than what I did. So, and eventually we'll get him a new CPU. Taking the shortcut. Um, if he was a dancer, I could have, but I, I hate doing the, capturing the thralls because I always fuck it up. And the last time I tried to capture a thrall, I had my skinny knife equipped instead of the truncheon. And so I almost stabbed her to death before I realized my mistake. And then I realized my mistake. I was like, oh my God, but she was almost dead. So I went to clubber and I was dragging her, shit, and I was dragging her back to the camp and we were almost there and she died because she uh, bled to death. Apparently when I went to go skin her, uh, I put a bleeding status on her. God damn it. Oh, yeah, so there's that. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, I, uh, I almost skinned her to death. Well, I, yeah.
For my part, did laugh at me, though. He thought it was hilarious. And I felt so bad because we had gone so far to get those thralls. I'm sure he was thinking, God, I've never taken Zill thrall hunting ever again. I'm not gonna ban Splor, son. Seriously. Splors is unbannable. God, I hate climbing. Night night floor birds. I'm glad you were able to catch my stream for a change. Yay. Yeah, well, I'll learn how to do it when I, like, carry no weapons other than the truncheon stuff, and then we'll be good to go. All right, now I can put my clothes back on. Because I dropped down to my death. All right. I'm going to make that little hyena cub an orphan in a moment. Oh, there's two babies. I trust nothing. You climb everything nude, Burma Par. What was it eating? Uh oh. Yog will apparently have my soul. We're gonna get. I'm gonna get feasted upon. Hold on. Let me turn up the audio. I hear him, but I don't see him. Oh well, he sounds busy. Probably gonna eat somebody else. Not me. I fear some dude's gonna come out and try to eat me. I don't want to be eaten. No, sir. So you did that IRL. Ugh. I could never do that nude. I like my girly bits in one piece. Alright, so there is a camp over here. We'll just skip it. here. 
and I didn't accidentally kill the bunny. So Sun should be happy. Alrighty. We're making progress. Night night, Brahmapar. Have fun. Oh my girly bit glory. Oh, I have gained a level. I don't recall if there's anything here. Tiny camp. All right, let's go do my attributes. My attributes, since apparently I need some grit in my life. Do, 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 do. <sighs> it just sucks you can't max out all your stats. That makes me sad. Oh, itchy ear. Yes, I know that was burbs. It's burbs. I know a burbs when I see a burbs. Ah! Ah! Shit! That is a huge fucking scorpion. All oh, the scorpions of the desert are trying to murder me. No! Not today. Not today. Okay, where am I going? I need to go... I guess this way. Or should I go this way? Nope, definitely not that way. That way would just bring pain and misery. Um, we have lived here for coming up on four years and we've only had a total of two scorpions in the house. And the first scorpion we got when we lived here Shit. two years coming up on two years and then we found another scorpion when did we find the other scorpion it wasn't that long ago like maybe a month ago so it seems like every two years we find a scorpion in the house well, actually I should say my cat finds the scorpion Right? But it's just the one scorpion. Well, I mean, it's only like a singular scorpion. So the first scorpion that we found, or I should say that my cat found, was on the stairs. And our stairs, they're carpeted. And it's um, it's tan carpety. Like, well, not really tan, but like a beige. Beige is on the tan side. And the scorpions that we get out here are, well, pretty much the same color. So it blended in with the carpet and it was just a, I would say a baby scorpion. It wasn't that big. And, um, my two daughters were actually heading up the stairs to go to bed. Ah, oh, fuck me. And, um, and my cat was at the top of the stairs staring at it, just like staring, just looking at it. Like she wouldn't take her eyes off of it. And when she saw my daughters come up the stairs, she actually got between them and the scorpion. So she repositioned herself so um, so she she would block him. Because if she hadn't done that, my 13-year-old would have stepped on the scorpion. So we captured it. And we put it in a mason jar. And we threw it outside. And then 
Babe, do you remember how long it, how long ago it was when we found the second scorpion? Uh, I wonder. Like some months ago. I like maybe a month or so ago. It didn't seem like it was that long ago. Anyways, but um, again, my daughters were in their room, and my my oldest daughter, she was like like my my cat was underneath her bed, and she said that she was just like thumping around, going crazy. And she couldn't figure out why. So she has, they have a bunk bed, but it's metal frame. And so if you, if you lift the mattress up, you can completely see underneath it. Cause it's just like, you know, wire, whatever. And she said that she was attacking the scorpion underneath her bed. So of course she flipped out and got my husband. And again, Capture the scorpion and toss it outside. We try not to kill things unless we absolutely have to. <laughs> yeah. So she was quite paranoid for a little while about there being scorpions underneath her bed. So before she would go to bed every night, she would, she would lift up her mattress to make sure that there was nothing underneath there. But yeah, but that's like the only two... Two instances of scorpions that we've had. And we live in rural Arizona. So, like, where we live, there's a bunch of coyotes, jackrabbits, rattlesnakes. We had a rattlesnake, a baby rattlesnake, got into our pool. We've had toads die in our pool, ground squirrels. We pulled one toad out of the filter <laughs> in our pool. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. Oh, my cat is super fierce. She's a great cat. Love her to pieces. Um, they can float. I'm not sure because, like, when when we found the the snake, um, ah, oh, fuck, scorpions. Um, snake was floating, but the water temp um water was cold because it was like fall oh what what time of year was it it was either fall or right towards the tail end of winter so the water was still super cold so because the water was cold and the snake we guess the snake had been in there maybe overnight um it was just kind of lethargic bedtime night night sun so we we were able to skin the skim it out of the pool and when my husband skimmed it out he was like oh he's still alive and i was like really and um and he brought me the skimmer and and it was just a baby just a little baby and he lifted his head up and i was like oh you poor thing you're super chill so we carefully because like we have a solid brick wall fence so we carefully put him on the other side of the fence in a sunny spot so he could warm up fucking scorpions and he was the he's been literally the only snake we've seen in our yard I've seen like our surrounding neighbors like right out next door. Oh my god, there's a snake underneath my bush. Not us. We are snake free. Alright, so I'm gonna go this way. They are impeding my forward progress, man. Every time I turn around. Fucking scorpion. See, look at that. Did I just punt this thing in the head? And there's gonna be another one. <sighs> I just wanna pinch my butt. I might let them if they're, you know, they weren't so poisonous. Huh? 
So, Sam, if you ever do get to play this game, I'll show you a little, little cool tidbit. So you see these little Onclex statues that are in the distance? That's kind of your border of where you can't go. So if you were to actually get closer to those, and you see that really shimmery, light green wall thing, if you try to touch that wall, you die. Fun fact, that happened to me. Yeah, that's where you can't go. That's the end of the world. All right, and we are almost there. See that war paint on that? We're almost to this, look, see, there's the city. And also, not too far from here, there's um, abandoned mine that you can mine silver from. The rhino is not friendly, FYI. Rhinos are not friendly in any way, shape, or form. Rhinos hate your guts. I'm gonna die. Fuck this shit, I'm out. Can't afford to stampede your ass. It's going to. But I gotta get to the city. I gotta get to the city. The people there will save me. If it's not following me. Okay, it's not following me. And we are here. Supper Maru. The city where Conan is. If we can find him. I always get lost here. Yeah, there is an edge of the world. Yeah, but the kitty got it though. So, and everyone here, they're neutral. So, you can talk to them. They grunt at you. Conan does reside here. Somewhere. It's the only place with an open door. Not this place. Oh, you can find all kinds of people here, but these people are neutral. You can't... You can't attack them. So, that also means you can't enslave them either. There, There is a group of people that I know that will attack, but I think that's because they're glitched. They're not supposed to. But this place is also super huge. And I want to say Conan is like over here somewhere. I don't remember where. I I think I want to say he's like over here. Yeah, this is as far as I know, the only neutral place. So you can't attack anyone. They can't attack you except for that glitch mob of people. Yeah, well they have to be attackable because basically what, what you do is you, you use a, a club and, uh, and you club them until they are unconscious. And then you have a thrall rope that you rope them with, and then you drag them back to your camp where you should have a wheel of pain set up. Our camp has a wheel of pain set up, and the next time I get to our camp, I'll show you where, where our wheel of pain is. And you put them on a wheel of pain for a determined amount of time. It's usually like an hour that it takes for, for them to break. And then you can assign them, or, you know, then you can put them... I will destroy yeah, these are, these are the glitch people. The glitch mob is what I call them. Also another reason why I like the two-handed sword. 
because of all the cleaving. I like to cleave. Cannot lie. Yeah. You're the master of cleavage. I am the master of cleavage. I'm so special. What's so funny? Spores. What does spores say? Uh oh. <laughs> there are some, like I said, there's a group of mobs in this city, in this area, that are glitched out. They will attack you. They're not supposed to, but they do. That's why I call them the glitch mob. All right. But they're like the only ones that do that. Everyone else is kosher. I like my cleavage. Tis true. Super, super true. Yes, if you were um, the follower of Yogg, you could totally eat them. They are completely edible. Sprinkle a little salt. Is this it? I'm trying to remember which building he was in. I think these guys are glitched out too. Oh, maybe not. Looks like they fixed these ones. They're dancing with clothes on. Isn't that disappointing? Ah, oh, here it is. Here it is. All right. Let's add it to the map. If I can remember how to do that. And Come on. There it goes. All right. Conan. Conan is here. Close enough. And there's Conan. With dancers behind him. And someone in front of him. Toxic pixie dust. One of our desert bunnies. Tell me, have you had a good chance to look around? I've seen your fill. This is Conan, dork! <laughs> yeah. It's not too late to get back on that crucifix. Any fool can see that you need answers. I like how he talks, but his lips aren't moving. The vultures on that cross. A cursed bracelet that keeps you trapped in this place. Everybody trying to kill each other. I should leave you all to your fate. I don't have a stomach for sorcery. Give me a foe <laughs> that I can strike with cold iron. Ah, I'll be here a while. His wine tastes like boiled camel's piss and the bread's half weevil, but I'm comfortable enough. If you have questions, ask. I wandered for a while after I pulled you from that cross. In the south, I found desperate souls and Darfari man-eaters. In the east, apes that walked like men among the overgrown ruins of an ancient city. I found an amphitheater where the ancient dead walked and the memories of ancient battles stained the sand. That's where the red sands are. Sorcery. So That's another yeah. place the burn par and I are gonna have to explore. It's a pretty fun place. I'll be here until the wine. Runs. So fun fact, um, there are obelisks that you have to attune to with your uh, with your bracelet, but getting close to them causes corruption. And what corruption does is it lowers your health and stamina. 
and it and you can tell it like his like your bars become purple and one of the few ways to to remove corruption is by visiting conan so you come visit conan and as you talk to him your corruption gets removed which is nice yeah here are the dancers Last time I visited Conan, he had, I think, two female dancers and a male dancer. So, yeah. And then she's a bar hopper I bartender. So, why now? so she gives you wine. You, can walk out of you get mystery meat soup from this chick. That sounds pleasant. And this guy gives you? you ale. Pleasure doing business with you. So yeah, this is where Conan resides. Not all that, you know. He just talks smack to you. That's all he does. Bartender or barbarian? Who knows? So yeah. So this is the lost city. Like I said, it's pretty big. And then I've, I've been, in my single player game, I've been everywhere. I've been to the volcano, I've explored all of this stuff. Um, I've been all the way to here. And even though I've, I've explored everything, I've obviously haven't even fucking uncovered anything. <laughs> it's a lot to this game. A lot of hidden stuff. I'm only just learning about a lot of the stuff with Burma Far. But I know there's a way that you can find the chick that's in the opening credits, the original chick that he cuts down from the cross. And she has a whole quest line all to herself. I've never been able to find her though. See, that's the thing though, Sam. Crocs won't follow you into the water. Like, as long as you get into the deep end of the river, they won't follow you there. They'll just wait for you at the shore. They will only attack you while you are on land. No, that's Vampire Mary, Spores. So yeah. That's going to be it for, for me tonight because it's almost 11 and I don't have time to do anything else. So I think I will just pull a toxic pixie dust and I will log my ass out. Wait, wait, hold on. Hold on. Let's do... Let's do flirt. And let us seduce Conan. Oh yeah, Conan. Do you like what you see? There we go. So, I will be back tomorrow um, with my 15 year old. <laughs> because he has, he has a browser based Pokemon game he wants me to play. I think it's like called Pokemon Showdown or something like that. So that's what we're gonna do tomorrow. He's been on me all week. Mom, when are we gonna get to play this? When are we gonna get to play this? So. You will get to see my son with me tomorrow night playing Pokemon Showdown. Um, there is my Discord. Everyone is free to pop in and say hi and, you know, whatever. So, and I'm active in that Discord. So it's not like you can't find me there. There's all my social media stuff, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube is where I'm supposed to put all my past streams, but I haven't uploaded anything to YouTube in a while because I kind of got pissed off at them. And Steam, you can find me on Steam. Yeah, he doesn't have much of flowing hair. Uh, my schedule is typically Monday through Saturday from 9 p.m. to 11 p.m. Sometimes a little earlier, sometimes a little later, depending on the day. And uh, we and I was playing Conan Exiles. Which, if you haven't picked this game up, you should, because it's really fun. 
And if you guys are interested, if you pick this game up and you're interested in playing with me and Brumapar, you can give one of us a holler in my Discord and we can, um... Thank you for the follow, Sam! And we can get you the info to the private server that we're on and you can play with us! So, that's always something to think about. So he finally, well, he passed to the 10th grade. <laughs> so, but he still has to make up the history credit. So there's that. Yeah. And you're welcome for the climbing, Sam. Hopefully you'll get to see more climbing from me and Burma Par. We, we, we typically play this game like once a week, um, usually on Wednesdays or Thursdays. But this week we, we played it Monday, Tuesday. We were supposed to play it Wednesday, but Wednesday some stuff happened with both of us that neither one of us were able to play, which is why we played it today. So, but thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you back here tomorrow with uh, some Pokemon Showdown. Interesting. Yeah, and um, Saturday is always Final Fantasy XIV, and I plan on continuing, um, shit, what's that dungeon called? Heaven on high. Definitely. That's the game plan for Saturday. So I will see you guys tomorrow night with some Pokemon. Yeah. Good night.